Hey folks, how's it going? I'm going to do a quick video today on making a cookie cutter for trap beds. I've seen a lot of guys use these on YouTube and I've never used one personally in the field so I decided to make one for myself and I made one a couple days ago and then I decided to make one for my brother. Uh, he does a lot of trapping and helps me out and stuff so I made him one to give it a try and I'm going to make one for a guy I work with. He, he asked me to try to make him one. So uh, in this video I'm going to show some of the basic materials you need, some of the basic tools you need, some are optional, and uh, as I'm doing that and as I'm making the thing, I'm not going to show you the entire making process, process, it's a lot of repetitive things over and over again, but at the end hopefully I'll show you a completed one and give it a quick trial in the ground here and see how it works, so I uh, hope you enjoy this video and hope you get a couple tips off of it, so stay tuned, here we go. All right, first, let's check out some of the tools I use right here. Uh, you need a welder. I said basic tool, but you, this is the most basic welder that you can get at Harbor Freight. It was like 70 bucks or something. I don't, I don't know. So I bought it a while ago. I've stuck all kinds of metal together. I can't call myself a welder, but I do the best I can do. It basically has an on and off and a high and a low and a wire speed. I'm getting a little bit better at the wire speed thing, though. So you, you need a welder. And a four inch grinder works really well for cutting stuff off and uh, using a flapper disc to smooth things out. Some gloves are really handy. But you can literally get rid, uh, away with just the grinder and the welder. But safety glasses. I used to just laugh at safety glasses and stuff until a couple days ago I got a piece of metal shot in my eyeball. And a bunch of money and doctor visits and digging my digging it in my eye they got it out but it's still blurry so safety glasses safety glasses safety glasses so can't stress that enough so let's check out some of the material as well I also use a speed square and other stuff I'm dropping some stuff to mark with I'll show you that a little bit as I'm doing it over here the material let's go let's uh, some of the tips on material first don't buy this stuff at Lowe's or Home Depot or anything Go find a fabrication shop. The stuff will be way cheaper. And moreover, like the, they'll give you, usually give you some tips if they're pretty cool. Uh, basically, for the end pieces here, I basically made myself a little diagram of a trap. This is a one and three quarters bridger. And over here is a diagram of the MB550. I made that one yesterday. Hopefully my brother enjoyed it. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they work well. So... For the one and three quarter bridgers for the uh, jaw levers, this uh, inch and a half by inch and a half stock uh, right here will work well once I weld it onto here. And when you go to a fabrication shop, I bought a foot of this stuff and I was going to cut it myself, but I asked them if they could cut it down. They cut it down into two inch chunks for me, which is really nice. So I got a bunch of little two inch chunks of this stuff right here. Uh, I chose. 3 16 by 2 inch deep, 2 inch thick uh, flat stock. I chose 3 16 eight To me, 8 inch looked a little thin, and quarter inch looked like it would be really tough to work with. So I chose this. It seemed like something I could work with. And when I start making the thing, I got some more tips here to go, to go along. When I made my first one, I, I made it, and then I decided to sharpen it, and then I sharpened it after it was made. And that was It wasn't difficult, but I just I decided to take my stock and I sharpened it right the way it was right here in a nice flat piece I put it in a vise and I just took my grinder and grounded that a nice sharp edge about, about like a lawnmower blade I guess so I sharpened that before I started making the thing so so buy your stuff at a fabrication shop a lot cheaper and if you're gonna make one of these sharpen your piece of stock before you start making any bend or trying to cut things and weld them together that's that's a that worked out well for me so and I guess if you're doing round traps like a, a, a one and three quarters duke or something it's just round you could probably go to a fabrication shop and have them cut a piece of maybe like five five and a half inch pipe or six inch pipe to fit your diameter and just weld a couple pieces of square stock on the side of it that'd be pretty easy really so uh, I'll go into the process of how I make this thing and I learned a few things the first thing I basically made the pattern 
and then I just tried to bend this to start with wasn't happening not with the tool I have so I decided to I marked on the piece of steel where the first bend was going to be took my four inch grinder and cut a little relief here about a sixteenth deep then I bent it but like on these real these sharper bends I had to I had to just basically I scored it I bent it and it would, wouldn't bend quite anymore so I scored it again and bent it then I actually scored a little channel out so I could fill in with weld so I'll show you how that looks as I go through the process then, okay so here's the process I'm not going to show you over and over again I basically there's where I scored it I bend it a little bit I scored it some more and I'll bend it again and hopefully match up with my pattern stick it in my two dollar vise here if you had a good vise this would be a lot easier actually it bends fairly easy got a pretty decent bend here and I won't have to tack weld pieces together either I'll just come later I'll actually cut a little channel here so I can fill it with weld <coughs> But it's a pretty close bend there, and I'm just going to successively work my way around here. Weld it together and weld some ends on it and see how she looks. All right, I got a bunch of bending there, folks. Okay, so here's pretty much what the final product is going to look like. Uh, you notice I've changed location, it's raining out. I was working outside, and I like to weld outside, so. Uh, you know, hold this up here, get sort of a straight look down view of it. I got pretty darn, I mean, I think the uh, bridge are one and three quarters or five and three sixteenths. Pretty darn close there, it's like five and an eighth maybe, so it's a shade under. I don't think that's going to be a big deal. And I got, uh, made one mistake, made a quarter inch mistake. I had to tack a little piece in here, I'm not going to finish well, and I just tack well a little quarter inch chunk in here, but it's not looking too bad, I don't think. So. That's the final thing. You can see all my little relief cuts through here. And here's my two pieces for the levers. They're still pretty hot. Just got done grinding them. Put a sharp edge on the bottom of them. I'm not sure if that's... You can see how that sharp edge, how I ground that on there. So pretty much, I'll clamp this baby together. And tomorrow, well, not tomorrow. Got some other stuff to do tomorrow. Probably Tuesday. Weld it together. Clean it up. And put a little handle in here. I'll just put a piece of old cable through here for a handle. So, by the magic of video editing, it'll take me a couple days to get this done. So I get it done anyway. not a couple days working on it. But you'll get to see the final product real quick. Okay, folks, so it's another day later after the rain, and uh, here's my finished product. I'll show you my, here's my, the first one I made. It's, in comparison, I think I did a little bit better job on the, this is the third one I've made. I said I made one for my brother for the MB550. This guy one I made one for the Bridger one and three quarters. This is my first attempt. I think all bent up and pretty rough, so I think I got a little bit better at making them. I know my welds aren't, aren't the best. I clean it up the best I can. Basically, I got for my handle, basically a hunk of cable with a couple little ferrules at the end, right there. And I made the cable a little bit long. It actually twists up and fits inside there nicely. So, if he wants it shorter, I'll give him an extra stop button. He can cut it off and make it shorter if he wants. So, if he wants it. If he doesn't want it, uh, I'd be happy with it. I know that. So, my dimensions on it, just to check it out, it's five and an eighth right there. And I, I hope that his bridgers aren't laminated. And these are about five and an eighth. Right there, maybe, uh, should be pretty good. So here, let me check it out here. Seems like it matches up pretty good. So I'm gonna tap it in the ground here, give it a quick try, and just see how it looks when it gets into the ground. I know these things aren't gonna work like really good in like sandy or really rocky soil, but you got half decent soil it 
they might work out pretty well. I don't know. I'm going to try it out this year and see how it goes. So, and hope this guy liked his. And I don't. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so let's do a little test run here. I picked a spot in the yard here, so I know this is pretty nice soil to be cutting into. But I'm gonna use a block of wood on this, see how that works. My hammer's pretty small, so so much for the block of wood. Maybe if I had better wood, just tap it in here. I don't want to beat this guy up too much here. But I do want to make sure it sort of works for him. There you go. A couple more taps on that side, maybe. Try to give her a yank here. <laughs> Not too bad. Looks like it might be a little bit deep, so I guess play around with it. But it definitely fits that trap pretty well. I'm not going to smash it in there a whole lot. So, I'll let the guy know that you don't really have to drive it in the whole complete two inches. I guess you can sift some nice soft dirt down in there to bed it a little bit better. But, boy, it looks like it's just going to push right down in there. And, and uh... And just tap the sides and it would bed right up real easily. So, looks like it's going to do a pretty good job. So, I'm going to get this cleaned out for the guy. Take it to him tomorrow. Hopefully he likes it. If he doesn't want it, trust me, I'll be happy with keeping it myself. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you got any comments or if you liked it, hit like. If you got any welding tips for me. Feel free to leave them. Thanks for watching.